Hi, this is Debbie from Debbie's Crafty Hands. Welcome everybody. Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are going to be playing with the grunge. Um, I've had a project in mind for some time and all will be revealed as we go through. In front of me I have a tray of exciting bits and pieces. It's found jewellery, bits of beads and these things which name escapes me for the moment, are split pins. Flowers, buttons, beads, all sorts of bits and bobs and zippers, um, connections for, looks like some sort of hosiery, poppers, lolly sticks. Now that's going to get you thinking, isn't it? What's she going to do with the lolly sticks? Um, so I've got all this stuff, not all of it's grungy, this is the sort of patina I'd like to have with it, um, and I'm going to show you how, or my method of trying to get some of this stuff to this sort of patination, and it's going to be a collage based on a steampunk type thing um, but my own version with a little bit of colour thrown in so we're going to be using my lovely cardboard discs which I've religiously saved embossing them and potentially turning them into cogs so that's going to be fun and I want to have them at different heights on my piece. So it's going to be fun experimenting, prep, you know, working out where each piece is going to go. I have a rough idea in my head but no firm plan, no drawing or anything. So come along with the ride. Um, so, underneath my lovely bits of jewellery, put that to one side for the moment, I have tinfoil, lovely tinfoil, and I'm hoping maybe to cover some of my circles with the tinfoil, emboss them so we have a metallic look. Um, that's another thing I'm going to have an experiment with. Normally I have the shiny, this sort of shiny, but I'm going to go with the grunge and go with black beads. I have wooden letters to sprinkle about, just randomly sprinkle about. I'm going to be doing stencil layers using this stencil, some letter stencils. Um, I have some dot stencils and some pattern stencils. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> so, me playing around with various textures. I also have a couple of um, embossing folders to uh, this one gave this lovely pattern um, and I haven't done the dots yet this this is what I've been experimenting with so this um, gave this pattern stencil and for the base I'm going to go with a slightly sinking feeling but first of all we need to get our base prepared so this is the first thing we want to do or need to do should I say 
we can work on the other projects while this is drying. So I'm going to get my splash paper because I don't want to get my board all messed up. Now I'm going to go for a slightly um, different. The other day when we painted something, I used the high vis viscosity, got that right, opaque um, white paint, a pepio. Today I'm going to go for the pearl white because it's going to give it a little bit of a, an edge, a little bit of a shimmer. Give it a good shake. Get it all mixed in. That's going to send the camera do lally, I think. But, and I'm going to use my trusty foam brush. It may need several coats. Now this picture has probably, oh, trying to think, about ten years old. It's getting tired. Somewhere along the line it's been scribbled on. I'm not quite sure who, by or why. Um, and a bit round the edges. I'm not going to worry about the sides at the moment because I want to do something a bit different with them. But I will be decorating the sides. But at the moment I'm just going to concentrate on painting the top. So, here we go. Welcome to the grand experiment. Now I'm going to put a little bit at a time. I don't want to... It's better to do several thinner layers than one big thick gloppy layer. So I'm going to build the layers up in between doing other bits and pieces. So as you can see it, it masks off the pattern underneath which I did like, I do like actually but it's just getting old and tired and it needs a bit of a a bit of a change of scenery shall we say so today's been a, a fun morning having a look around my craft room bringing up pots and jars and containers and things having a rummage through and seeing Shopping from my own craft room, shall we say, seeing what's available, what I have um, in stock, and what I can use. Because I, I want to try and, during the year, use up what I have, not um, buy new stuff. Um, so, this is one way of using up all my bits and bobs, of broken jewellery. That's a, a coat on that. So pearl white, zero twenty graduate acrylic by Dahlia Roney. I think that was from Hobbycraft, but I've had it a while, so don't quote me up on that. So, I'm just going to put my brush off to one side and we'll bring in some of the corks and bits. Let's pop this over here to dry. Sparkly fingers. So, I think we can experimenting together with this. It's I have a plan in my head but I haven't tried it before so if it doesn't work it doesn't work but if it does work fantastic so I want a few silver tin foils to uh, play with so I'm going to stick those four circles onto my tin foil and I'm going to use, if I can reach it, my Kalal glue. Because I think that's probably my best option. So give that a good going over. And stick it down. I 
think I'm giving my tech man a nightmare with the glare from the tinfoil here. That's one. Uh, oh, no, I'm not going to use my mermaid one because that I'm going to use for something else. Let's find a different one. Maybe a different size. When I use my die cutting machine um, with the embossing folders, that will also reinforce the pressure on the glue and help the um, tin foil stick to the, the paper. It's going to be interesting to try and cut this. Scissors, whichever is going to be best. Now, that looked like there was a hole in there, so I'm going to move that along because I don't want to. Don't want to have a hole in the middle of my tin foil. If I can help it. Right, and the last one of these. I'm going to have a little sort through my Nana's button tin because she had all sorts of gizmos and gadgets and belts and buckles and thingy me jiggies in there so that's another source of finding your your bits and bobs if you're going to join in with this now what the devil have I done with my pin help help oh here you are don't hide from me because I need you okay I've got that over there now ruler 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 try and tear this with my ruler. Wish me luck everybody. Oh my goodness, I think we've got a craft launch in the background. One of the cats has decided to jump on something. Oh dear. Right, let's stick that underneath for a while. Cat's vanished. Cat's vanished under a pile of, I'm not sure what. Right, so we're going to burnish that down. Just reaching over to find my bone folder. Give that a really good push down. Let that dry before we cut it. Now, you will see it all coming together gradually. We've got a nice like chicken wire pattern on the tinfoil already, so that's a bonus. I wasn't expecting that. And you can see the circles forming. So if we go from this side, we can see where our edges are. There we go. Here we go. So these aren't finished by any means. I'm going to be playing a lot more with these. But because I only have a small surface to, to play on, I don't want to do too many. So I've got my silver ones. I've pre-coloured a turquoise, a dark pink, a light pink, a different turquoise and a purple to go along with those. I want a blue, which are all going to be interspersed. Inter interdispersed, is that the word? Um, different levels um, dif just interplaying with each other with all my lovely decorations so let's give this um, base another coat of paint because it's, it's tacky but it should take another coat now get that on If 
a little bit of the background shows I don't think it matters that much because we're going to be doing lots and lots of layers and it will be deep in the, the background that's what you want to do push it into the background not necessarily completely get rid of it and that's one of the reasons I've gone with the pinks and the purples because if it does show a little bit um, then it's not out of character so we're getting a little bit thicker on there now Squidgy out. This is pretty colour actually. Nice and shimmery and shiny. That's what I wanted. Now the edges, I'm still trying to decide what to do with them. Maybe you can help me decide. I had some various thoughts. Do I put buttons of different descriptions around the side? Do I put a blending washi tape like a gold washi tape or do I just paint it black or blue or purple or one of the colours from here do I silver foil it um, I haven't decided if you have any opinions on the subject then I'll be happy to see them in the comments ready for the next episode because I'm not doing that quite yet so you've got time to have a think about it and what what would you do how would you do this um because we're doing this together in a way oh my goodness I managed to get paint all over me me crocodile don't want paint on me crocodile this is going to come in handy later on let's get him out of the way for the so um, put this to one side, I've magically separated the tin foils, didn't see that did you, did it in the background. Um, now I'm looking to see whether I want to have this double sided, uh, yes I think I do. So we need a, a background on these. Um, possibly a dark background because it's going to be the underneath but where you've got your different layers you're going to see in between and underneath things so each of these discs needs to be double sided it doesn't have to be the same colour either side but it does have to be double sided um, it doesn't have to be embossed on the bottom side but we don't want to be looking underneath our piece and seeing the Cornetto insignia. So, I want to trim these and I'm going to see if I can maybe file them off with the... Oh, where is it? Now I've gone for... Oh, look at that, by magic. It appears on my desk. Yes. It will file. Yes, that is a nice smooth edge coming round. A little bit snaggy there. Might have to get a new nail file. This one's uh, running out of grit. I will probably do a black edge round the side of these. Oh yeah, that's coming off nicely. I'm happy about that. As I say, it's an experiment for me as well as <laughs> trying trying to show you what to do while not quite knowing what to do myself. That's the, the fun of it here today. And we can all learn together what works and what doesn't. I'll make the mistakes for you and then when you do yours, if you would like to have a go, then you'll know where all the pitfalls are right oh that's come up beautifully i'm really happy with that it's a little bit on the edge there but that can soon be glued back down there we go give that a bit of kalal good old kalal and bone folders vanished again oh it's hiding under me a bit of cardboard Goodness. 
tell you what, my tools walk about my desk without me knowing, I swear they do. Right, so that's number one tin foil done. Let's try the big one. Scrapey, scrapey. Sorry about the, um, if you're trying to fall asleep. Sorry about the irritating scraping noises, but we'll soon be done. It's, and sorry about the filing too, yeah. That's a good point. Um, it's a necessary part of the process, shall we say. Now this might be a an idea to transfer if you want a bit of glitz and glamour on your cards. You know, cover your circles with tin foil or gold foil or whatever, you know, other colours you can find. Um, there is other foils you can get, you know, in the shops, but, you know, if you can get it in your kitchen, why not use it? Can I give you that bundle? Thank you. So that's number two done. Try and keep all the bits off my desk so that I don't get stuck to everything. Although that might be a screw the tin foil up and make a, a shape. That might be an interesting development on the um I'm gonna call it a steampunk rainbow collage. How's that? For a big title. So that's basically hopefully describing what I'm going to achieve or hope to achieve. Alright, that's the next one. We've got a little bit of red showing there, but that shouldn't matter with what I'm going to be doing um, with it next. So I can get this bit of tin foil out of the way. So we've got our colours. We've got our tin foil and the pile over the corner here. Um, we're working on the last tin foil circle. We can always make more if we need them, but I didn't want to overdo it because I say the space available for the collage, although we're going to do a sort of a 3D look, it's not a huge amount of real estate. So we want to uh, not go too mad with the same thing. We want to vary it a lot, so hence the different colours and the different. Um... So, for instance, I won't put it on there, but you have your different colours coming in under. Maybe that would be a, a blue be a pink, that'll be a dark pink, we'll have a bit of blue down here and maybe a bit of purple up here and come in with a bit of silver there. So that's the sort of front on view that you might get. Um, and they will be sort of different heights etc. So. And they will obviously be decorated with a different bits and bobs. I don't want to make them too heavy because I'm still trying to work out the me mechanics of how I'm going to get them to raise up. Am I going to stick them on a column of sponge um, foam blocks to bring them up? Am I going to put them on coils? My idea was to put them on bed spring type coils and make it really funky underneath. But unfortunately, I looked down the street and none of the neighbours had thrown out an old mattress. So I had to sort of decide on something a bit different. I have some craft wire, jewellery craft wire. And I don't know, I'm going to have a little go at this, I don't know whether I will be able to make my own coils or whether they'll be strong enough. So I'm going to use my thickest wire and have a little play while we're waiting for the paint to dry. 
and see. Now I need to wind it around something pretty, no I don't think this is going to be heavy enough. We'll come back to that in the next episode. So bye bye for now. Oh hang on I've been told I've got a few more minutes to play so we'll use that time to do another layer on my my base. So with the springs, it needs to be open spring, and I think I might be able to source a bit um, of that type of material. I'm going to have to have a rummage in my shed, um, see if I can find some more nuts and bolts to play with as well. That's an idea, we might be able to put nuts and bolts around the outside edge as well. That's a another thought. Um, it's getting, this um, image is fading now into the background. I think one more coat, which I'll probably do off air, so you'll not get too bored with me painting a white square. Um, one more coat and I think that will be sufficient to be able to work on. So when we come back in the next episode, we will be working on our circles to make them more steampunk and we will be working on some stencil images, some lettering and some background stencils that I've got in mind. So for the second time, much love. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.